Hey YFC family, Jake and I are here in our home today wanting to connect with you, encourage you, and share with you a few things our leadership team has been working on. I don't know about you, but last week felt like a whirlwind as things were constantly changing and news continued to develop about the coronavirus and the effect it was going to have on our daily lives. Last week I kept hearing from the Lord and from so many people around me, do not fear, an action statement to put our trust in God and not be afraid of the unknown, okay. but rather lean into what Jesus was doing in this time. As the days have progressed and the reality that this is actually our new normal for a while, the phrase I keep hearing is now shifting to, let hope arise. That doesn't mean I don't think we shouldn't be holding on to the command of fear not, but it means that if we are living in a space of not fearing, that should lead us to a place of hope. Yeah. And hope is the anticipation of something good. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm gripped by this concept of hope because hope changes everything. We can be in the most desperate of circumstances, but if we have hope, that means we can be expectant of something good to come out of our desperate times. My prayer for us is that as we wrap up another week, whether you are finding yourself suddenly out of work, maybe you're now having to homeschool your kids, you know, maybe you're in the medical field and you're not able to go home and stay safe. You're on the front lines of this. Whatever it is that you're facing this week, would hope arise. Yeah. May he restore and reset your expectations in this season. And as he does that, this verse says that you will be filled with joy and peace. So that, meaning that our response to being filled with joy and peace as we trust in the God of hope, would be that we overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The natural effect of that will be that we spread hope to those around us in a way that you can't contain because it's simply overflowing out of us. Right. You can't contain the peace and the joy that you have. I pray that this blesses you and encourages you as you seek to let hope arise in your homes, in your workplaces, and over your families. Now, on to a couple of things that our leadership team has been focusing on this week. As you may have seen through our social media posts this week, our team gathered for the last time all together in person to worship and to pray over our church and our community. At those, this point, we are primarily working remotely, but as you know, there's always work to be done. So a couple of things I want to highlight for you. First, uh, this week we are pre-recording our Sunday morning service on Saturday evening. The heart behind this is that because of the massive increase in online streaming that is happening, on Sunday mornings, we want to help prevent any streaming difficulties that could potentially happen due to an overload on the streaming networks. This will also allow us to have Spanish translation available. So starting this Sunday, we will have our services streamed in Spanish as well. And I want to encourage you to continue being in communication with your life groups, whether that is doing a virtual Bible study online or simply checking in on one another in this season. Let's not forget to stay in the rhythm of community. If you're not in a life group during this season and you would like to be, let us know. We'd love to get you connected. Also during this time, our YFC Kids team has been hard at work finding creative ways for our kids to still engage in learning about the Word of God. We are excited to announce that tomorrow, so Friday, March 20th from 3 to 5 p.m., we will have little to-go bags of take-home activities that you can pick up at the church for your kids that will go along with our YFC Kids lesson. And on top of that, there will also be a family movie kit that will be available for you to pick up to help facilitate some fun family time. We're so excited that even even in this season of unfamiliarity, we have been seeing God move. Uh, you know, we've created an email address, help at yakimafoursquare.org, that people can send in needs or prayer requests or availability to help others. And we've been so encouraged by how many of you are stepping up and you're living it out in this time as you care for the people in our community that we love so deeply. So continue to engage, mm -hmm. continue to connect, and we will see you online this Sunday at 9 and 1030. Bless you all, and remember, let hope arise. Let hope arise. <laughs>